Good morning. You're tuning in to Leveled Up Human. It's Friday, July 10th, and I'm just about to go for my daily run, but before I do so, I thought I would share something interesting with you guys. Throughout history, human beings have been involved with plants as uh, using them as tools to enhance their consciousness. And before our run today, I thought I would kind of use this as an opportunity to introduce one of these plants. See, it's uh, tobacco. And tobacco is a widely misunderstood plant. Here in the West, it has been misused as sort of a plant of addiction. People get addicted to smoking low-quality tobacco in cigarettes. And it's been associated with cancer and just all sorts of problems. Well, today there's a, something a little different. It's called hape. Essentially, it is powderized tobacco, very finely ground, that is used in the Amazon and has been for millennia. You traditionally apply it through the nose, and the effects are a lot different than smoking tobacco. And basically, it's a higher grade mapacho that is a, a type of tobacco that is finely ground up and also mixed with the ash of other plants as well as tobacco to help alkalize it so that it's not uh, so uh, harsh on the body. But overall what you can expect from this type of experience um, is kind of like a grounding effect. It's traditionally used before ayahuasca ceremonies but it can also be used as a ceremonial tool of its own, you know, just, just on its own. It can be used to aid your meditation, your yoga, and in this case, my running. I use this very rarely. <laughs> this is something I don't recommend using every day, although it can be part of your daily practice, just like in the Western world, we unfortunately, for the most part, are addicted to caffeine. Um, I would recommend incorporating plants into your life sparingly, that way their energies are more pronounced and you can get the maximum benefit that way. So basically you just take a small pea-sized amount, there's a little scooper I have here, and you're going to be placing two piles on your palm. So the, the effects that you're going to get from this are essentially like a, a nicotine rush, right? But uh, it's a lot different than other types of uh, tobacco. It's, it's, you really feel it, oh, I can't get this out, you really feel it in the, in the brain. Like it's kind of like it rushes through your nervous system very, very quickly. The effects are immediate. I think the scooper is a little bit moist because I'm having a little bit of trouble getting. Anyway, so there we go. I mean, the piles are not as uh, neat as I would want them to be in my palms, but that should be fine. So basically the way you do it is normally it's applied by another person. So, so somebody else like a shaman will, will use uh, a tool, a tepi, that's a tool called a tepi to uh, blow it up your nose. But in this case, we have another, like a self applicator called a karipe that we can use to apply the hape to ourselves. So essentially, you can see that one end is longer than the other. So I would take the shorter end, and that's what I would use right here. And I would start with my left nostril. And I would go to my right nostril. So I would take one pile, blow in. There's going to be a stinging sensation. And uh, then I would go to my right, <laughs> my right nostril. Again, why am I doing this? Essentially, you know, it's, it's more or less a stimulant. But in, in doing so, in stimulating the nervous system and waking up the nervous system, you're going to get back in touch with your body. And remember, 
there's a lot of information stored in the body. So you're going to be kind of like reliving certain emotions. Like this is, this takes a little bit of um, courage to do something like this because it's, you know, a little bit painful to do it in the beginning, but the rewards are going to be felt immediately after that initial hump of discomfort. So if you, you know, are interested, I would recommend giving this a try, giving the more mild types a try, if you're, especially if you're sensitive to nicotine. But you'll feel kind of more or less a mild level of an entheogenic activity. So you're going to kind of have that heart, heart opening, that grounding effect where you're going to get back in touch with certain emotions that you might have been blocking. It's going to kind of clear those energetic blockages in the body where uh, you're going to be able to get on with your day a little bit more with a little bit more clarity especially if you've been preoccupied with thoughts that aren't serving you this is a great way to clear that energy and I know that a lot of people might have hang-ups about what energy is but it's just nervous system energy it's just mental energy that is stored within the body you know if you have back pain that's going to manifest as mental discomfort just as much as physical discomfort. So anyway, uh, we're rambling a lot here. So we're going to go ahead and scoop the first pile and get ready to uh, do the, the little ceremony. So normally you want to set an intention. You want to have some sort of purpose. I mean, just like with any plant medicine, we can, you know, in, in the West we call this the placebo effect and I mean if that makes you feel more comfortable then go ahead and call it that right like it's just we call it the placebo effect because we don't really know that the mind is very powerful and we can more or less have a huge effect in creating our own reality so you know my intention today is just to get really in touch with my body and go for a great run and have a great day so uh, here I am, I've applied the uh, hape to the karipe, and now I'm going to blow it up my left nostril. That's the tradition, it's usually you start with your left and then you go to your right. So <laughs> I would recommend having a pack of tissues, I have a pack of tissues on my left. I will explain the process as I go through it, um, because it's definitely not super straightforward, like in the sense that you want to go immediately from left nostril to right nostril to get the best effects, but you're going to be a little disoriented. <laughs> so uh, it looks a little silly, but yeah, watch it. Uh, watch this. <laughs> All right, we got one. We got the one nostril. Now we're scooping the rest into the right. <laughs> so that's actually a very mild happy. <sighs> I feel that all in the back, right through the blood brain, barrier, blood brain barrier, through into the head, through the body, a very stimulating effect. And any type of resistance I was having this morning to anything, to going to my, my job today, to going for my run today, I have cleared that kind of energy. And uh, you want to let this sit in the nostrils for several minutes before you blow your nose because it takes a while to take full effect. And in order to maximize the effects, you're going to want to let that uh, sit and absorb for as long as you can. You're going to get a little bit mucusy in the beginning. And that's going to be that reaction, right? Your, your reaction to foreign materials essentially being blown into your nose. But after your nose will be actually more clear than it was before you started. And you're going to want to have maybe a spit bucket or be outside because you're going to want to spit. Yeah. 
this isn't exactly aesthetically pleasing. You know, in the West, we're used to everything being nice and clean, perfect. But uh, if we have a little bit of courage, we will be rewarded for that courage. We got to step outside our cultural comfort zone and experiment with new things. I mean, humans have been working with thousands of plants throughout our existence. And it's a shame for us to just be only using a select few of those plants. Like in the West, we have sort of this misuse of tobacco, maybe perhaps a misuse of caffeine, a misuse of chocolate, a misuse of sugar. (laughs) We pretty much have gotten out of touch with how to use plants in general. A misuse of cannabis. Pretty much every plant that we use, we ferment uh, sugars and then we over drink alcohol but alcohol itself can can be a positive tool too it can be a tool to build community and to get together and have a good party right so i encourage you guys to have an open mind when it comes to all drugs uh including tobacco itself you know in in the past there have been shamans that have worked with this extensively and have been able to stay healthy and work through all sorts of traumas um, by by using this in a responsible and intentioned manner. So, you know, overall, you're going to feel great. You're going to feel a positive energy flowing through you. And when you feel positive, you can think more clearly. When you can think more clearly, you can accomplish the things that you want that day. And when you win those 24 hours, you win your life. So... You know, you always want to set yourself up for success. And this is just one of the ways you can do so. Anyway, I'm uh, just about to go and embark on my daily run. And I'll take you guys along with me. So I'm out on my run. I'm feeling good. And just a reminder for those scientifically inclined people that nicotine, which is found in tobacco, has been proven to promote neurogenesis. This type of practice isn't gonna impact your mental or physical performance negatively, especially if used responsibly. So, you know, go ahead, try it out. Have this as a tool in your toolkit. You're not gonna rely on this. Obviously, nicotine has addictive properties, but, Most of those addictive properties are only ripe for formation when you're in a situation where you're trying to fill a hole. But if you're already full and you just wanna incorporate some new essence into your life, some new perspectives, this is just one of those tools that can do that for you. I know this talk of plant essences might be triggering to some. But a plant essence is just referring to the nature of the relationship between the individual and the neurochemical modulation offered by a certain chemical. Throughout history, throughout human history, we have had relationships with plants for the majority of it and not synthetic materials. So our colloquial use of language refers to these as plant medicines, as plant technologies having plant essences. As we develop our scientific understanding, yes, that will reflect in a change in our language when referring to these things. But a plant essence isn't necessarily referring to anything magical. It is just referring to the relationship you have, our culture has had, with certain plants. So tobacco has a certain essence. Cannabis has a certain essence. Ayahuasca has a certain essence. And independent of us interacting with these plants, you know, they would have a different essence because the nervous system of the creature interacting with it would respond differently. So that's all it is. There's no need to overcomplicate things. Anyway, that's it for today. There's definitely more interactions with plants to come on this channel.